Hey, gents, Scheme Rhythm here, back with another Let's Play Dark Souls. I think we're at part 13 now, actually. So, in the last episode, we actually worked our way down through Blight Town and got some of the beginning items. And this time, we're going to be destroying that thing, for one thing. And we're also going to be taking care of some other business as well. So, I believe there's actually one of those mutant things up here, but sometimes you have to bait them or climb up there after him to kill him. But the re main reason I'm coming up here is because of this guy. And he should be dead from that, actually. Yep. Nope, he's not dead. That's annoying. Oh, boy. So, let's start with this butt ugly bastard. So as you can see, his attacks will actually bounce off your wooden shield. Some of his attacks will anyway. Not all of them. Some of them will. But I don't know. Some of the some of the uh, great shields are really nice to have. The wood and I will say the great shield has really really nice um, lightning resistance actually, which is going to be handy during a certain boss fight. Finish you off. Take your items. Oh boy. So actually, if you want to kill that thing, you have to go up this way first. It was just a nice way for me to start over there. If you get close to him, his tentacles will try to. He has these things that are clinging him onto that wall. And those will actually attack you, and they do a hefty amount of damage. And holy shit, look at all those items that I miss. I guess I'm going to be grabbing those on the way out of Blight Town, because, I mean, hell. <laughs> so you come over this way. There's going to be an enemy, I think, in here. Come on. Yep, there he is. He's climbing down. Why is he... I was about to say. I'm not down there, you fool. I'm right in front of you. Um, I think this upcoming boss is going to be the last boss where the Drake Sword is actually a viable weapon. So, I mean, that's... Uh, this is one of the few times I think I'm going to use the Drake Sword as a shockwave. Well, shit, not that it did anything. Well, fuck! Okay, I'm back. I got killed by the tentacles in a way that I didn't know I could. So just to show him what happens, you see that thing sticking in the wall there. That thing will attack you. There it is. It's very, very fast and very hard to get in and get it hidden. So what I'm going to do is try again, I guess, because there's something behind him that I would like to get to, and I really, 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 really hate this guy. Because of course he's going to surprise me and kill me in the way I didn't know it was possible in my own LP. Ah, <sighs> oh well. What are you going to do? So, run through here, and you will actually... Voila. <laughs> I'm going to rape you. I'm going to rape you, bitch. That's disturbing, isn't it? Probably shouldn't say that too loud. Uh, uh, I'm suffering so badly right now. Alright, how do you kill this guy? Um. I'll let that get away from that. Ah! There we go. Sometimes you have to work it a little bit. But, I mean, that's 3,000 souls there. I guess it's not bad. As long as I don't die on my way back to the bonfire, which I'm pretty sure I will. Normally I have a better weapon than what I have here. But I guess it's... Eh. Oh well. So he's been taken care of. Let's see, did I get the guy behind him or was that another one? Okay, I didn't get this guy. There we go. Just take care of him the simple way. Why not? Don't worry about it too much. Oh boy. With this, we're about to start the reason that Blight Town is considered hell. Like, you thought it was bad so far? Just you wait. No boss yet, but... Well. Actually, you know what? There's an item down here, and the only way to get it is to drop. Let's see, where is it? There it is. So, you drop right here. Whew, that was close. Pick up a whip. 
I think a whip is another dexterity weapon. But it's not very good against... I've never used whips, actually, but apparently it's not very good against armor, but against bare-skinned opponents, it's a strong weapon. And, yeah, you see B on dexterity there. Not intended for battle. Huh. Virtually ineffective against armor or tough scales. So, yeah. I can think of a, a boss in this game that doesn't have scales. Okay, I probably gave that one away. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to silence that. Holy shit, I almost died. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think there's something you can pick up up here. If there's not, then, no, well, I don't think it'll matter. You can watch me waste time and nothing, selfie. You can see, manage to see this again. It won't be that bad. Nothing. Of course there's nothing. Um, here you can actually drop down most of the ladders and it won't cause that much damage. I think this will cause some fall damage, but, you know, I'm being safe. Yep. Uh, Please tell me I have the Drake Sword out. Okay, here's the Drake Sword. These guys, I believe they go down three instances of the Drake Sword. Okay. But they have a fire breath-esque sort of attack. I don't know. I haven't figured out what it is supposed to be. There's one of the corpses that fell down from the upper level. Yeah, they fall all the way down here. I don't know. I think it's a nice attention. I'm going to go ahead and equip this fire shield because, well, you'll see. But... I think it's an a nice testament to uh, From Software's attention to detail, I guess. Or they made this one big connected world. Like it, whenever you load the load screen, you basically load the entire world. There are no loading screens between traveling to the different areas. Oh, look at this! It completely blocks their darts. It's good to know. So you got one of the last of these poison dart guys over here. Go ahead and take care of him. Oh, look at that glistening sweetness down there. You can tell I'm looking forward to this, can't you? Uh, I was about to say climb down that ladder. Definitely don't jump down. But you know what? There I go. Um, to get here, I don't believe he can... Shit. Ah, uh, this is not what I wanted to happen. That's not what I wanted to happen either. This is really not what I wanted to happen. Oh god, 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 oh god. Welcome to Blight Town, by the way. So you're poisoned. It's not as fast as acting as toxic. So you can use the purple moss clump to heal it. Okay, these guys. I didn't even have a chance to equip my poison bite ring that I spent all that time going out to get, man. Ah. Backing off. Holy shit, I don't remember there being that many this early. Um, that's his last two. Shit. Two-handed, and you get a vertical swing. That should take care of the fact that they tend to hover. So, I guess I should go ahead and grab this. Those are leeches back there, by the way. Uh, keep the poison bite. Keep that ring. Put the poison bite ring. You know what? Screw you guys. So I'm going to ignore everything that I've been working to avoid so far. And I'm going to run straight over here to the bonfire. They actually have a bonfire down here, surprisingly. So I'm going to light it. And then rest. Gosh, so nerve-wracking. 10,000 souls, goddamn. Only enough for one level, but still. Uh. I guess, since we don't still don't have a weapon that will be strong enough to fight the boss that's coming up. Hmm. I guess I'm going to give one more vitality. Alright. Uh, gosh. Up here, there's actually a uh, chest containing 
a dragon scale, which you use to upgrade weapons like the Drake Sword. Um, I suggest saving these. They make you a target of the Dragon Covenant, by the way, but there's a certain... Because they uh, invade and steal your dragon scales is basically the whole idea behind them. But I'm going to be saving that for a certain weapon later that I'm going to be using. Um, not all dragon weapons, that is weapons that upgrade with dragon scales, require you to use that particular item. I mean, not... Let me rephrase that. Not every weapon out there is... Co every dragon weapon out there has zero stat scaling like the dra Drake Sword. That's what I'm counting on. That Poison Bite ring is really doing its job, I tell ya. Okay, now here you have an interesting area. The Water Wheel. Actually, this is going to be the... I lied. This is going to be the, where the last set of those... Uh, annoying fuckers that shoot those poison darts at you is going to be. But, I mean, keep your spider shield equipped. That's all, all you really have to do. And shit. Apparently these guys can bleed. Ah! It's a good thing I picked up a lot of these, isn't it? So... It's also a good thing we're right next to a bonfire. I'm so sorry for this, guys. This is this is like the seventh one in a row that I'm recording. So I guess I'm just tired of talking, really. My voice is kind of dragging out. Drop down into that to get onto it safely, by the way. My voice is kind of dragging. I'm exhausted. It's Sunday, man. Sunday. I got class in the morning, too. So I'm probably going to upload the first video right before class starts. But oh, well. This is... I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this LP overall. It's a very fun game, I think. It makes you think a lot. It rewards you heavily for being careful and methodical and you know it's just a good game despite its flaws because I mean hell it has a lot of flaws there's no getting around that uh, another one of these guys be sure to walk with purpose across that bridge but that little narrow bridge by the way otherwise you're gonna get owned so this is the corpse that was behind that area, or you might have seen. Actually, you get a tin management catalyst from there. And you get a special sorcery. Shit. Ah, I hate those things. They spawn infinitely. So I guess that's what all that noise was from. Oh, well. You climb this... Another one? This is actually a good area for that Ring of the Evil Eyes, because those things don't give you souls, so you might as well kill them for health. I mean, that's, that's the way I think about it. Alright. Where are we now? What's the point of this area? It's as high up as I can climb, right? Oh, look at that. Someone rested at the bonfire. Ah! I need to start talking more. Start talking more. Think of something to say. Uh, well, I guess college is the only other thing on my mind. Calculus this semester has been an absolute joke. Like, I honestly don't know what the point of taking that class was almost. Because, I mean, I don't know, it's just so easy. The teacher is German and he doesn't teach the class very well. But on the other hand, there's the fact that I'm, I don't know, I took a calculus class in high school, so there's nothing really that I haven't learned that he's trying to teach us. 
So I guess that's a big influence on it. And be careful here because sometimes those guys can shoot at you and that'll actually knock you back or knock you off of that. And I'm pretty sure you die if you're high enough so that if you get knocked off of that, you die. Yeah. Pretty unforgiving of mistakes, I'm telling you. All right, we're done with this area almost. I can't wait to get rid of these guys. I think in my uh, first file, I actually got rid of them using pyromancy. I just tossed a fireball their way because, well, I didn't feel like going around and getting them, basically. They give a lot of souls considering how little power they have behind them. Shit, they're everywhere. I should be careful, man. careful about falling down there because there are enough of those dogs to kill you very very quickly so let's see um, shit straggler just keep running keep running get around to the other side for that guy I do believe that this it was a good idea to go through this side first because it had more though so don't worry about it too much Oh my god, there's no other way to get to him, is there? Ah. Uh, I guess I can go in here. Make sure the wall's between me and him. And what I'm going to do is actually equip the crossbow. Since, you know, I don't really have any other weapon that I can use. I don't have any arrows. So, crossbow it is. I'm pretty much delaying the boss again, aren't I? Yep, that's what I'm doing. I've decided that's what I'm doing. Worth it. I gotta be fast about this. Toxic kills you fast. Whew. All right, that's the last of those guys, at least. Thank God. I had to pick a part of the game that I don't want to play again. Um, there is some nice items down here. Uh. Oh well, just drop down and plunge attack them, I guess. That wasn't a plunge attack. silent man it's because I'm trying to focus so hard though because I mean right now it's taking everything I have to stay alive against these guys because I mean it's not that I think this place is particularly that hard it's just I have to really think about it to play well at least right now firekeeper soul sweet I can upgrade my essence class to plus two Follow me? Anyone? Shit. Ah, here we go again. There are three here. Shit. I guess it's going to be a little better, though, since I can kill them in two hits now instead of taking three. 
There we go. The nice thing about when about them breathing fire though is that it's really easy to get around them and that attack takes a while so you can pretty easily kill them. Whew. That's what I mean. They're not as bad about dodging, I find, as their bigger one as the bigger cousins though. Which is pretty nice because I mean I'd hate fighting these guys if they were. Alright, so from there you end up back by this thing. And I just died. And I got a humanity out of that too, so I have to go back for it, god damn it! Okay, I'm back. So you shouldn't jump down if you haven't if you didn't figure that out. You're what I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do is run back to this ladder over here and just walk out. Like a normal person would. Ugh. I have no idea how much of this video I'm going to end up editing, editing either, because I don't remember how much of it I've done or anything. But that humanity is going to come in handy, because I tell you, there's going to be an enemy that doesn't stay enemy. enemy. Okay, sometimes those guys clip through the floor. They can't really do anything to you, so don't worry about them too much. Climb up here. Is this that really weird area from before? No, I don't think it is. I think this is a different area. This is what actually a uh, shortcut way. Let's see. Up here. Kill this guy. Climb this ladder. <laughs> climb this ladder. There are a lot of ladders to climb, by the way. Look how high up we are. Jeez. There's a chest up here at the top. I don't remember what it has. Key to New Londo Ruins. Oh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, so, this area. This is actually a um, shortcut to here from a place called the Valley of Drakes. And the thing about the Valley of Drakes is it actually has a special item that I'd like to get before this boss fight coming up. And I guess this is going to end up being a longer video than the others, but, you know, I think I'm okay with that. So long as I can get this item. Great. Two dung giants at once. Oh, well. Backstab you! Backstab you. This is going well so far. Backstab you. Make you bleed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Yeah. Back off. He bled to death, and he's dead. Whew, all these dung pies. Dung pie is an item that inflicts poison status on both you and the enemy. So, I mean, uh, not that great. There's a better, there's a better way to do it. Uh, so, here you have the Valley of Drakes. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this item over here. There's a specific shield that I'd like to get here, actually. Let's see, I believe... Yep, this is a shortcut to New Londo Ruins. Which we haven't gone to yet, so I guess you don't really know what that is, but oh well. But, um, there's a particular enemy over here. He's very, very strong, but he's protecting a specific item that I'd like to get. Oh, boy. Long episode. I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of the stuff where I'm like being ridiculous and not moving. Oh well. We'll see. Normally I've got pyromancy by this point in the game. Alright, back up enough, because he does this attack where he spews his poison stuff all the place. Um, I guess the breakthrough is my best weapon to use against him right now. I guess I'm gonna have to use the spider shield, because I'm not sure if he's that attack that he does with his uh, hand. But I mean, if I can pop his poison stuff, he's keeping from getting poison on the poison spider. Actually, you know what's that poison spider? I'm gonna go ahead and switch to, uh, I guess back to the evil shield. Yeah, I'm probably. Uh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. This is the part, this is gonna get fast forward. There's no way, there's no way, man. Fast forward this, man. So, if you pick up, yeah, you get close, basically you just come in and nail him between spewing toxins that he does. Run in, 
that that uh don't be close enough for him to do that because that's I don't think he's blocked right now. That's not important. Back off. Uh, he's gonna take the red man. Okay, as you see, I kind of said screw it and just kind of wailed on him to kill him. Um, I don't think there's even any guarantee that I'm going to make it back to the bonfire. But, um, you know, I equipped that ring of sacrifice because I thought he was going to kill me there. But anyway, so, uh, you know what, I'm going to start the next video at the bonfire. So uh, next time on Let's Play Dark Souls, we will take on the boss of Blighttown. Later.